like I can be myself instead. I know you don't want me around. Hey and welcome back to another edition of Kamali Vision 2022. I'm your host Bara and I'm accompanied by Kendra. Uh, today we'll be looking at two stories for, created by our Cert 3 Green and Media class. The first story will be about the WA borders reopening. How do you feel about the borders opening? I reckon the borders opening is great again because I have family around the world like Singapore and I want to visit them. And even though cases are still pretty high, I think it's finally time we accept. Now, let's get on to what you guys thought. Thank you, hosts. Today we'll be doing a report on different opinions from different people from WA opening its borders to the rest of the country. So what do you think of the Austra Australian borders opening up? I think it's a good thing for the economy, but should still be restricted to keep case numbers minimal. I think that it's not good because more people will be able to contract COVID. Honestly, I don't care. I just don't want COVID in Australia. If you got COVID, then get it, all right? Uh, I'd love to travel internationally again. So I'm quite happy about that. I think we've already got COVID here, so there's no point in keeping them closed. I also like the fact that the WA borders have opened up. It means I get to travel over east in the school holidays, play my ultimate frisbee, which I really enjoy doing, and I've been training for since January. So the first time the borders didn't open up, I was a bit scared that I wouldn't be able to go. How long are the borders going to stay up and why? I think they'll hopefully stay up for about a year, which is I'm pretty sure what we're expecting. Whether this changes because of case numbers or a new variant of the virus completely depends on what actually happens. Unfortunately, that's the case. Hopefully for another few months, but if everyone, if cases double, then they'll have to shut it eventually. Keep it open all the time. I just don't want COVID in here, all right? That's good. Uh, I think now that COVID's already here, just keep them open. There's no point in closing them again. Do you think there's a chance the COVID cases will rise because of the borders opening? If so, why? I think it's completely understandable because of the influx of people and then most likely have been undetected cases. Yes, because everyone from interstate will bring it over here and everyone who was originally here will get it. Yes, they will increase, but if everyone's double vaxxed and that, then it won't be severe, yeah? I know so much people with COVID, nothing happened to them. It's not deep. Just be vaxxed. Uh, no, because it's already here, so they're just, it's like, going to go up anyway until, I don't know, everyone gets it. But uh, maybe there's a chance that a different strain will come in or it'll mutate and a new one will be created here. Who knows? And that is the end of our report. On to you now, hosts. Thanks to everyone who participated in that interview. Now, on to our newsreader, Lumia. Welcome to Morley Senior High School News Desk. I am Lumia. Our first topic is Breakfast Club. Tuesday and Thursday morning before school, get down to the common room for a bite to eat at the Breakfast Club. Homework Club. The current session for homework club is Thursday 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The homework club is available to all students of all year groups at Morley Senior High School. It is an opportunity for students to complete work in the library with access to library resources. Student assistance. So no substitutions to be made except the student is absent or has a test. Tutors only are allowed to make substitutions and students are not permitted to swap with other students without tutor permission. The replacement must not be a student who has been an assistant in this current round. If the student has a test or an assessment and cannot be student assistant for this period, he or she must negotiate and confirm a change with the tutor. Student assistant is to report to the student services desk in admin at the beginning of the specified period. Thank you. That's all from the news desk today. Back to our program with our hosts. Thank you, Lamia. Our next story is about free dress, so we get to see what the Molly community thought about that. 
Welcome to our Morley Vision story. Today we've interviewed a few students around the school about their opinion on free dress day. Free dress day is cool. It lets people, um, you know, like be themselves. It lets them represent who they are as a person and then come to school and be welcome to a nice community. So yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's very good. Molto bene. Free dress day? I think it's... A good idea, a good way to raise money uh, with a gold coin donation. It's, it's, it's a good time for kids to express themselves, students to express themselves. It's a good idea as it allows people like, to wear what they would like to. I think free dress day is great because we get to see uh, everyone in the clothes that they would normally wear when they're outside of school because it can get a bit boring seeing everyone in the same clothes all the time. Favorite color? Disney or like actors or something. Superhero. Dress up as your favorite superhero. That would be pretty fun. <laughs> um, they've been all right, but there's been uh, only a little bit of participation. They have been good and bad. Like there have been like people wearing stuff that they shouldn't and stuff that can cover their faces. Well previous free dress days I found that a lot of the times it's just teachers getting to dress up and such when the students are still having to wear their uniforms I don't think that's very fair. Yeah I think it's I think it's beneficial I mean uh, having one day uh, one out of maybe every term day to just relax in your own clothes. Yeah, it's beneficial for the school's identity, particularly the student body's identity, how the kids all express themselves. Yeah, it's important. I mean, towards our identity, well, yeah, if we go with the theme as like sticking together like unity, as I said before, then if people from outside school do view us and like, it's the same, they'll see us as like together or like being under the same so yeah, I think it would be beneficial, it would be nice. Uh, yes, I think it is beneficial as like it allows like the school to tell everyone like yes we have a mixture of students who like more than just one thing. I think it's not beneficial because it seems to be recognised with the logo. I'm definitely more comfortable in my own clothing, but I have to give it to the school. The uniform is actually pretty cool. Did you want to add anything? It was nice to see all the students come together to participate in such an event. Um, to see everyone's styles. So that's all we have for today from our Cert 3 Screen and Media class, Molly Vision 2022. This is your host and we'll see you next time. No matter what it takes, I'm coming home, I'm coming home, tell the world.